Zach, this is what I want to know. What part of it is a bug? Is the fact that it was stolen a bug and the passing lanes are bugged? Or is or is it the way that the game... Hey guys, it's LJ. Make sure you like the video and subscribe for more great contents for my daddy. Good afternoon at the 2K Lab, man. Check this out, man. So it all started with the 2K community and the release of NBA 2K25, man. We got everybody in the community is up in arms. People can't shoot. It's lanes. It's Everything got there, man, in the lanes like Tory on them boys, man. Hey, stuff is happening. It's really weird. But uh, and we're going to get to the bottom of it. We got a dev that chimed in on some stuff. And, hey, we just going to go from there, man. And uh, Hanky the Tanky talked about shooting. Uh, my boy Man Man Ground the Fuck Hard talked about shooting. And then that boy Power came back and talked about shooting. Look, we're going to talk about all that, man. That boy Quavius Young is a stay mainstay on the show talking about that, too. We're going to do all that in one second. But before we get started, make sure y'all like the video and comment. Y'all trays up! Splash down. Comment y'all thoughts down below. Y'all know we're trying to go with this thing. Turn them on, Alice. And if nobody told y'all this today, y'all, my brothers, my sisters, my family, love each and every last one of y'all. First off, man, we got a DBs. Stand up. Everybody want to be Deion Sanders, man. Check it out, man. We got big boy out here, and he lined up in press coverage, moving back. Oh, man, with the breakup, with the pad break. Put the strap on. I say put the strap on. No, we're not going to talk about this right here. We're going to look at this technique. Okay, okay. He said we're going to go straight bell technique. Uh, we were going to do bump and run. Okay, he's making the sideline his best friend, turning him up the sideline. He turns. Look, he's there. He's playing. He played it pretty well right here, watching the ball, watching the man, not the ball. Okay, so right here, watching the man, not the ball. He sees him turn. He looks around. Bro, you got the picture right there, big dog. I'm not going to lie to you. And he just completely drops the ball, but it was a little push in the back. So, hey, for me, you get to give him the, in the incomplete side and put the strap on, man. So, hey, listen, man, everybody prime time, man. Speaking of prime time, man, we talk about, <laughs> this is what we're talking about, man, in them lanes like prime time, man. Look, this is something that got dropped yesterday, bro. They uh, It was a, it was one of the steals. We broke it down and we talked about it. And we said that this definitely should have been a steal like it, it's it's two people in the lane this is a terrible pass it is horrendous yes somebody did say that he could have thrown it over the top i just don't see any situation where you could loft this pass and it get here prior to this man getting there um getting there and what ends up happening is is a warp interception now this is a part of the part of the game that uh that i don't know like it, it definitely deserved to get stolen and uh and it did get stolen however somebody watching this would say bro how did he get there but i feel like that the ball like you got to throw it here anyway so unless you loft in it it probably could get there but you got to throw it between two people somebody should just get a hand on it it should just not i don't have a problem with it being stolen i have a problem with how it is expressed uh how the game expresses it and i think that's what most of us have an issue with yes it is a pre predetermined conclusion that this pass will be stolen and the game decides that and and because the game has decided that pre, you know has predetermined that this thing is going to get stolen uh it has to express itself it has to happen and it puts it in there and the force it to happen like i said yesterday i said that i would have rather seen it happen with him just jumping straight up and stealing the ball not him going monkey dunk not him uh, doing what he did or how it happened and that boy zach timmerman he came in there uh, later on and he just really just made it very plain it's a bug Zach this is what I want to know what part of it is a bug is the fact that it was stolen a bug and the passing lanes are bugged or is or is it the way that the game expressed the steal is that a bug because I know a lot of people they they watch you guys and they they, they look at what you guys say and they they think they're paying attention, but they don't truly understand. Well, monkey donk! They don't truly understand what's going on there, and so or what it is that you're saying. So saying it's a bug, that is true. That, is, that I totally believe it, and I'm with that. And, I, and we know that it has to be some type of bug. But but what part of it is a bug? The fact that he stole the ball, the pass, or the or the way that the steal was expressed by the engine. That's what we. That's what I would like to know. I would like some clarity on that. Not that I deserve it or nothing. You're doing an awesome job. I really appreciate you, dog. But uh, you know, I just want a little clarity on that. So like, when they make this patch, because that that goes a long way to telling us what they're going to patch. So when they do this patch, are they saying that they're going to be patching steals, or will that the way that the steals are expressed 
be patched. That's that's what we like to know, man. But up next, now, hey, that boy Splashy said, hey, man, the rebirth is the best thing that they added. And not gonna lie to y'all, man, I got a 98 overall, 6'7". I can't, and I put uh, 99 steel on him, bro. I can't wait to put that young man up and bring out my 6'6", six, six, man, because I'm really, really wanting to do that, man, because uh, he's gonna have more more steel. Um, he's gonna have more steel, uh, not more steel, because he can't have more steel, I got 99 steel, but he's gonna have more, more, uh, more rebounding, more speed, and just more things that make the game matter instead of having a 99 steel that hampered me, more three ball, all that stuff, man. Up next, Hanky the Tanky said, man, Zens are back, yay, tight contest. And hey, we about to look at it right here, man. Look at that thing, that boy, Woo, tight contest on them boy, man. Hey, for the game. Bust down, Thunty. <laughs> I want to see you, but hey, man, that man said he hit that tight contest for the game. I feel you, though, but Hank and the Tanky also came back. I mean, he came back and doubled down on something uh, later. Speaking of which, you can hit something like that, and then like Downwork said, hey, ain't no, no way Mike Wong is trolling, man. And hey, you're going to see it right here for the, for the 10K for the money on, though, Brunson. Ooh, how you missed that at point blank, bro? How mad would you be if you were on the 10K and you missed that at point blank? Like right here, even though I'm watching this and this guard definitely stro throws a Stevie because that should definitely get stolen. But uh, my man's, oh, he just made a good pass on that. His reaction time uh, was there, but hey, I guess that's pass accuracy and how it works. But I guess I guess what, uh, what they're saying is, it don't matter about that pass sack, my boy, because uh, yeah, you ain't get that right. He just they made him miss, and it just is what it is, man. It sucks, man, because something like that happens on the 10k, and you about to lose the money on for the fun yon. I don't know, man. Maybe he should have used rhythm shooting because, like Job Bridge for said, rhythm shooting is broken. Man. It's broken, or should we say broken? But uh, yeah, like you use the rhythm shooting. Like man, man, grind the fuck hard said, bro, you can hit tight. You can hit tightly contested shots just like this. Run down there, you shoot it. And uh, a lot of that, I don't know how it ended up being uh, a contest, but it was a light contest. It was a lightly, you look at it over there on the side. I mean, it's a lightly contested shot. I don't know why the dude fell down. Uh, probably dude made contact with him and they didn't call the foul or something like that. But hey, it is what it is. Uh, I mean, he was open at the time that he took the shot and possibly that looks like a center. So maybe the only reason he even got a contest is because he's a center. But uh, hold on, them boys. And they getting drugged too, man. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, I, I guess it just is what it is. I don't know who got the three on that one, but I, I hope you ain't the one that was getting drugged uh, like that right there, 47 to 30. Uh, whatever, 47 to 70, man. That's that's crazy right there. My boy, man, man, grind, grind the fuck hard. Says, hey, man, this better, this 2K is better than uh, than anything we we done had in a while. It ain't perfect, but it's far from trash. And then Big B says, real talk. I wish these dudes would stop complaining. Let the game rock before they start asking for patches. Learn it, uh, learn it first, man. Now, uh, yeah, and I agree with that, man. I think before we ask for patches, we should be trying to learn the game. But at the same time, that boy Hanky the Tanky has some irrefutable evidence of some stuff, man. And maybe we do need to look at this. He wrote a paragraph, but he put the TLDR in there too. Uh, but we're going to check it out, man. He says, a lot of you are complaining about shooting in NBA 2K20. Uh, we're going to put this up here. Uh, we're going to... Can I play that while... I can't play that while I'm doing it. I was going to play that and then read this while I was playing it, but I can't do it. A lot of you complain about shooting in NBA 2K25. Uh, you don't understand, uh, don't understand how it actually works. Uh, or you just calling it bad. But let me break it down for you real quick. The shooting itself... It's pretty easy. If you can't green your first shots, you're just you're just mistiming and you need to learn your timing or get better. For example, you can green your first two shots very easily. Now let's go, let's go to the problem. But after after say maybe two or three shots, most of the time, most of the time, 2K will give you no green window at all on your next shot, leaving it completely up to RNG. Whether whether your next shot, uh, whether you're not, well, okay, leaving it up, leaving it completely up to RNG, whether your next shot will go in or not. So essentially, 2K is punishing you for greening multiple shots in a row. So it's anti-green machine, like I was saying yesterday, uh, forcing you to eventually miss 
your next shot most of the time. And say, in this clip I have down here, the lowest a 1v1 matchup. My opponent greens two shots in a row. I confidently leave him wide open for the third shot, knowing that he, he would 100% miss because of the algorithm, and he does. Then I do the same exact thing after he makes two more shots in a row. I leave him wide open for the third shot, knowing he will miss again, and he does indeed miss. Uh, you should not be punished for timing your shot correctly by being by by being given no green window after you make a sequence of shots. That is the problem with the shooting. It is uh, it is not hard to it's not hard to time your shots in general. The issue is that after you make a, a few shots, you're not given a green window, which leaves it up to RNG, which should not be a thing. And if there's a if there's any uh brain if there's any brain right here who's out there that doesn't understand what I'm trying to say, shooting is easy, but also saying that the way that they made the algorithm to make you miss is bad. I'm specifically talking about the times where it gives you no green window after a few uh, after making a few shots, which is not on uh, not on every shot. 2K needs to revert it, uh, but needs to revert it because. It should not be impossible to make specific jump shots, especially after making a few shots. You think you should, you think you will be rewarded and it will be easier to make the ones correct. Well, uh, they made it harder instead. Pause. And then here we go right here. So this is what he was talking about. Dude made a couple of shots. Le uh, okay, that's the second shot right there. And he's going to leave him open and say, huh? Okay, so he hit the second shot. So boom. So he hit the first two shots. Now he gonna just, hey, look, he just backed all the way up. Bricky, whoo, doinky, man. So I feel him on that, man, then you say part two. <laughs> Same thing happens. He hit shot number one, and Tank Hank is up 19 to whatever. Okay, now he gonna let him hit shot number two. And so he's saying on shot number three, he's not even going to contest it. Not even gonna go out there and then leave, left him wide open. Doinky, man. Yep, he's absolutely correct. So that's what he's saying. Then he said, get on that rim, oh rim, and left him open again. Rim, on that rim for me. That's how he ended the game, man. So I, I, give, I do get what Hank is saying, man. If that is true, and he said it's pretty much like a reverse shooting slump, man. If that's true, man, we can't have nothing like that in the game. Power came back and kind of countered what he was saying, though. And he just says, uh, he says, hey, I believe this is something else that he's saying. I believe the green and miss system fundamentally, fundamentally ruined 2K community's perception of shooting mechanics. Before the system, of, before the system, white releases would occasionally result in successful shots, but players understood that they hadn't timed their jump shot perfectly and saw room for improvement. However, following community feedback, the system shifted to green or miss, which is where we lie today. After, after the first uh, glance, uh, this seems fair. A green, a green release should indicate perfect timing, right? Unfortunately, it's not that simple. We know what they did, bro. They changed all the ones that were white and just made them turn green. But there are a lot of them that would not otherwise turn green. So you think you're greening more, but you're really not greening more. You're just hitting the whites. The whites just turn green. That's all. That's 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 more or less what he's saying. Uh, so at, at first glance, uh, it seems a green release should be. Okay, I say, here we go. Uh, what many players don't realize is that you can time a shot identically within the green window and sometimes get a green release within with while other times you'll get a white. The only truly perfect timing occurs is in the narrow pure green window. If shots within the larger green window can can result in in uh, in either outcome, green or white, what's the real what's the real distinction between them? It's essentially just a color difference. Exactly. And so he says. Uh, I practice under the I practice under the green or miss system. Many players believe many players believe they are executing a perfect timing, a uh, perfect top shaman. When in reality, they're often getting whites that have that have been uh, visually disguised as greens. Absolutely correct. Now they're telling you that the ones that are whites that have been visually have been visually disguised as greens. That's just giving you the rattle around the rim. Visually disguised as green. A green release no longer signifies perfection. It merely indicates that the shot will go in. Uh, this is problematic because it deprives players of an accurate feedback, uh, the accurate feedback necessary for skill improvement. Surprisingly, 2K Labs recent tests suggest that that identical timing on different on different difficulties settings can also result in either green or white release compared to the graphs uh below 640 time and mark for each set for each setting reveals this inconsistency on low risk lower on low risk low reward settings the make percentage 
uh, for, uh 640 is low which also which all with all shots regards so it's all all of them is about 40 percent so no matter what you do if you're on low risk low reward you're gonna hit about 40 percent on medium medium risk medium reward the 640 shot shows start time is significantly higher uh percentage of greens throughout through through some whites though some whites still occur i'm sorry about that and then he says uh, on high risk high reward 640 timing displays and all green percentage with no whites at all this means that the exact same timing could produce a green or high on high risk and high reward but a white on low risk low reward exactly this isn't a reflection of shooting perfection it merely is merely merely a visual distinction i believe truly improves uh, I, I, I believe to truly improve the shooting mechanics, we have to reconsider green or miss. And so more or less what he's saying is right here, what they're showing you is, is if you, if you um, go low risk, low reward, you're going to shoot 40% regardless. Like you, you never shoot over 40%. And then if you go with medium risk, medium reward, you can hit up to 60% if you can hit all greens, but you're still only going to hit about 40, uh, about 45, maybe 50% of your greens on the outside of the window but up here you know you hit if, even if you green everything you're still only going to hit close to 60 percent here you can hit close to 100 percent but if you're outside the window uh outside out here you're just going to flat out miss but if you're in here in the make window you hit 40 percent on the periphery you hit 60 percent uh, as you get closer and you're going to hit 100 to 99 percent man so there is a pure green window but there's really not a pure green window so what he's saying is that if you can hit the pure green window you're going to hit most but my boy uh my boy uh hank is saying that the green window disappears once you hit a couple of shots man so i don't know who writes y'all gotta let me know who, who y'all think is right and then he just said tldr for those who don't want to read all this green or misses fake a green doesn't mean that you timed it perfectly they just changed the color of the whites to go in to greens exactly and that'll conf and that's confusing to everybody that's more or less what i said right at the beginning man so it's just like one of those things where where people said we want green or miss they gave it to us but the way that they gave it it's just like 2K always gives us what we ask for, but the way that they give us what we ask for is always one of those things that's concerning or alarming. And you know it's not gonna ever be the way that you ask for it. So if we ask for them to tone down steals, then it's very likely that steals in the passing lane can will disappear. And then there'll be no, and it ain't no plucks. So then like you can't punish people for doing bad things. And thus, hey, It'll be impossible to play defense in this game because shot contests, we've already proven with three videos, this this video, shot contests don't matter in this game. Last but not least, we got my boy Quavius Young said, hey, I figured out shooting this in this NBA 2K25 jokes on you. And now, he, 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 hey, and hey, we already know what it was, man. It's that shot stick, man. And last but not least, they got that boy, uh, Nate, raising, bro, raising. Nate, hey, I, I'm not gonna play it because I don't feel like uh, messing it out. But look at that. Nigga, Nate. Nate loses to, hey man, he ain't lose, but he's just mad, man. He's just like, like I said, man. I think he's gonna come out here. Oh, look at the steal. Okay, get the steal, bike. It is a fader, brick city, baby. Let's see, Do donkey man. Hey, he said he can't. He just can't get one, man. And that's how it is, man. It's like it feels like that they got the joint where after you, because I was in the wreck and we was playing yesterday, and I really felt like after a shot, after I would hit two shots and I'm shooting 100%, that they would artificially try to bring my shot percentage down to uh, to either 50% or like 40%. I just missed my next couple of shots. Unless I was going to get on the rim, there was just no guarantee that I was gonna make the shot, man. But hey, y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comment section. Do they really need the nerf steals? Do they need the buff shooting? Are y'all okay with the shooting system or whatever? I'm just gonna play whatever they give me, man. But if we're missing, if there's absolutely no chance to miss after you miss hit a couple of shots, that definitely needs to be be revisited. I feel that way because I come in the wreck, hit my first shot, hit my second shot. Or if I've been on a streak in the wreck and I've been on a shooting streak, I get in there and there's I can't even find my timing for the first game, bro. And then after the first game, I, everything gonna be fine, man. And that could be it too. But uh, just don't change your shot for nobody, man. Do what you do, and I'll holler at y'all next time. Till next time. Hey, it's your boy Jay Easy, aka Fresh from the Barbershop, BK the People's Champ. And I see y'all on the court. Gosh, baby, gosh, baby.